virtual blood donation platform and currently the largest community of blood donation Today here with me, Mr. Kiran Verma from Delhi. He is a social activist and a social worker, founder of Simply Blood. Uh, currently, he is on his way uh, to 21,000 kilometers across India. Right now, he is in Imphal and he is campaigning for the awareness of blood donation all across the India. So, how do you find Imphal and Shari Manipur? I, I, I can say that you know, Manipur is one of the best places I've been to Imphal in Free Town Hall. Mm. People are so beautiful, mm. the environment is so good, mm. especially the rains. It's so beautiful and green, mm. lush green in the uh, you know, hills, mm. especially. So, this is something very beautiful. So, uh, Mr. Kiran Brahma, before we start in our interview, our viewer want to know a lot about you. So, can you please tell us briefly about yourself, your childhood background, and your education qualification, and why you started this blood uh, campaign? And how many steps have you covered? How many kilometers you have covered so far? And why you choose to Manipur instead of other state? So you can you can tell us briefly. So seventeen thousand eight hundred kilometers till Manipur. Yes, yes, or now. As of now, on feet. Okay. Of course, I have taken transport in different area, different locations because uh, there are challenges sometimes. Uh, you know, in terms of safety, in terms of logistics, in terms of reach. So there are places where I have taken uh, vehicle, mm. so I'm not considering that, I'm talking only the distance I have covered on feet. Mm. That is 17,800 kilometers. As of now. As of now, mm. till Impal. Mm. I started from Kerala, mm. then I went to Tamil Nadu, mm. Pondicherry, Karnataka, then Karnataka to Goa, Maharashtra, Dadar Nagar, Damandiv, Gujarat. Mm. And from Gujarat, I came back again, then Telangana, mm. Andhra, Odisha, West Bengal, uh, Assam, then I went, briefly touched Sikkim, mm -hmm. then I came down to Meghalaya, then Arunachal, Nagaland, and now. Uh, Manipur. Manipur. So, when did you start? In which year did you start? I started on 28th December 2021 uh, from, uh, from, from Kerala. Kerala. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, the reason why I started from Kerala because A, the weather is good mm -hmm. uh, in December. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you talk about uh, that weather in Delhi, mm -hmm. it's very hot, mm -hmm. cold. Mm -hmm. So not many people would show interest mm -hmm. in coming to us. Mm -hmm. Second, the the literacy rate is very high in the south, mm -hmm. and awareness of blood donation is less needed mm -hmm. in those areas because blood is blood donation is happening quite a good, uh, quite good in those places. The, these were the three. And why taking Prevendrum, not Kanyakumari? Because everybody uh, consider India from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. What about Gujarat? What about Manipur? What about Nagaland? What about Meghalaya? Or other, uh, any other state if you talk about? It. We should see India beyond that because India is equally, um, equally in terms of length. If you see from north, north to south, the distance is almost equal from Lakpat to Arunachal Tezu. Mm. So if you go from Tezu to uh, Lakpat, uh, the distance is almost as same as Kashmir to Kanekwad. Mm. So I come from a lower class, middle class family um, of Delhi. Mm. I grew up uh, uh, with closely, very, very closely with my mother. Uh, I have got one elder brother, mm. Mm. but after, you know, when I was five, my mother was diagnosed with cancer and because of that, I saw the hardship of mm. dealing with cancer and she, when I was seven, we lost her mm. oh. and that's when I realized that what is the value of life because there was a vacuum in my life. So I was 18 and I was not doing well in education. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a teacher mm. who needed blood. He had some kidney problem mm. and I got to know that nobody is coming forward to donate blood to him. And that's when I, I thought that uh, why don't I give blood to him and maybe he might get impressed. He might get give brownie point to me and uh, I can get pass. So that was the whole intention. No, no social service, 
no doing charity or nothing it was sheer self selfish act but when i donated blood i was coming out of the blood bank and then his son met me and he said thank you mm. and then i realized that mistakenly or unknowingly mm. i've done something good mm. and that's when i started donating blood during this course of time i grew up in my professional career and i was doing pretty well being from a middle a lower middle class family and uh, being a school dropout i achieved very good uh, milestones in my career which mm. usually people don't even expect uh, to get and it was 2016 when i got to uh, i got a call i was getting ready for my office and i got a call that somebody from raipur chatisgarh needs blood mm. i went there i donated blood and the person who called me he took the blood donor card and went out of curiosity after donating blood i thought of meeting the family i went there in the into the ward mm. i told the lady that ye namaste bhai ji maine aapke liye blood diya hai so bolti hai ke bhaiya aap yahan kyu aaye ho humne to paise de diye oh shocking right so i got shocked why he took money and i said what happened so she said ke this guy he told me that i'll arrange a blood donor you need to give money for that yeah. and that was a time when demonetization was going on yeah and i got shocked i called that person so many times but what happened this guy didn't pick up my phone and switched off his phone mm. i got frustrated i went to the administration and when i went to the administration i got to know i cannot do anything i was helpless the reason because i donated blood to a particular patient mm. and that blood was given to that particular patient only mm. and the money that uh, black marketer had taken that was in cash no proof so technically even if that person was standing in front of me mm. i won't be able to make guilty out of him so that's when i realized that this is the modus operandi most of the people mm. are currently running i went back to the ward i you know thought that i should give money to that ladies because otherwise she will consider me that i have taken money against the blood i donated so with that intention i went there but that lady was not there so a bengali lady told me that uh, you she just went down with her husband for some test why don't you wait for her a while and i was waiting and i was talking to that bengali lady then i got to know that this lady who paid for my blood hmm. she got into prostitution oh. to pay medical bills for her husband and that's when i realized that you know this is not acceptable to any husband any part of the world i mean how can a person can even imagine वो हिंदी में बोलते हैं जीते जी मर जाना राइट सो दैट वाज द काइंड ऑफ फीलिंग आई हैड आई वाज इन टीयर्स आई लेफ्ट दैट प्लेस आई केप्ट सम मनी अंडर द पिलो एंड आई जस्ट लेफ्ट विदाउट इवन मीटिंग देम एंड आई वाज ड्राइविंग बैक होम एंड आई कॉल्ड माय वाइफ एंड टोल्ड हर द होल स्टोरी एंड शी सेड दैट इफ यू कैन सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम देन गो आउट एंड सॉल्व इट इफ यू कांट देन देयर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ क्राइंग यू कांट डू एनीथिंग and that's when i decided to work on blood donation i left my well paying job the very same day the reason behind leaving that job was because whatever we are speaking so we all are born because of two people mm. our parents right we all are going to leave this world through some people at least four people are going to give shoulder to us right mm. whatever we even walking is being taught by someone else whatever we speak is taught by someone else the clothes we wear it is made by someone else the the you know everything whatever we do our existence is because of some other people and when we talk about um, uh, blood donation it is something where we are not taking anything we are giving back to something right so we have very few areas where you have an opportunity to give rather than just take and that's when i decided that this is going to be the cause of my life even if i die it's okay because i have taken so much so i left my job the very same day so that 
uh, my cause should not get compromised by any means. Mm. I left my job the very same day. After a few days, I got my full and final. And that's how I started Simply Blood with that money. It was going on and it was 12th June 2017. I started uh, Simply Blood around six months ago mm -hmm. from that point. Mm. And 12th of June 2017, I, I donated blood to a young boy, mm -hmm. my uncle. Mm -hmm. I donated blood at Ames, India's biggest hospital. That person was dealing with cancer. Mm -hmm. I made some video just to make sure that all my people in my contact should get aware of, about it. And if somebody is willing to donate, mm -hmm. they can come forward and donate blood. With that intent, I donate. Mm -hmm. Also, during this same time, we were expecting our first kit. 2016, 17, 17, 17. June 2017. After two months, his father called me mm. and he said that, uh, Kiran, can you send me the pictures you took on that day of Mayank? And he, yeah, why not? What happened? So he told me that Mayank is no more. Mm. And the day he died, he bleeded from his eyes, nose and ears. You know why? Because nobody came forward to donate platelet to that young boy. Okay. And he died in front of his father. Set. Imagine a country of 1.5 billion people with more than how many 30 million people in Delhi, mm. right? Mm. And Nobody was there to, yeah, to and them. in the biggest hospital of India, Ames, mm. Ames, and nobody came forward. There was no fault of administration, there is, there is no fault of uh, government, it is uh, us who were unaware that there is a young boy who died in front of us, waiting for platelet. Mm. And that's when I decided, this is not going to be a future for my kid. And not just for my kid, but any kid in India. So then I, I decided to walk across India. And in 2018, just after eight days mm. of my son was born, mm. my wife went to her uh, mother's place mm. and I started a walk. Mm. Actually, initially it was a walk, but it turned up in, uh, into a travel and for six months I traveled all across India. But somewhere I left that just like most of the Indian quit so easily. I quit from that walk and I went back and I was living in a guilt. Guilt that you know, oh, I had an opportunity, but I couldn't do anything materialistic for that. And it was three years I was living in guilt that I had an opportunity, permission from the wife. Everybody was expecting something out of it, but nothing got up. And then this lockdown happened 2020. And during that lockdown, COVID lockdown, I saw that how people were making excuses for not donating blood. And not just in Manipur, I forget about Manipur or any other places. I'm talking about places like Mumbai, like Delhi, like Hyderabad, Bangalore. People who are educated, even in uh, Tripura or, or West Bengal, mm. people who are donating blood at such a level, they are not coming forward. Why? Because they are scared of blood donation. But then only I realized that people who, and I saw this in front of me, it was 1st June 2021. The lockdown was removed in Delhi and I was going out of my society. And I was driving and all of a sudden I saw a couple over there. And the, the couple refused to donate plasma a few days back mm. just because they were scared of getting COVID at hospital. But imagine the same couple was standing in a queue, miles long queue outside a wine shop, risking their own life. Mm. There, they were not willing to come forward to donate plasma. But here they are risking their own life. And I thought that this is not an administrative problem. This is not a um, problem which we can blame to our government or administrators or anyone. This is our problem. We are the problem and we are the solution. Because government cannot create blood. And that's when I decided there is no point of celebrating World Blood Donor Day. It was 14 June 2021. And I decided that, you know, there is no point of celebrating this day. Let's go and talk about it. And I started walking and talking about it. I announced that 28 December 2021, I'm going to walk. And I announced it. 
and since then I have been walking all across India. Many people in Nagaland suggested me not to come to Manipur. But here I came with a conviction that my message should reach out to every person, whether it's Kuki, whether it's Maiti, whether it's anyone. Just try to think from one point of view that you are shedding you know, blood all across just out of hate. But imagine your blood can save so many lives. Why don't you shed your blood for life, for love, for unity? Right now we are just divided on the basis of our culture, our ethics, our beliefs and so many other things. Not just here, I am not talking about only Manipur. I came here with one, only one vision and one only dream. That even if I die uh, campaigning for this cause during this walk, this message should not die. That's a quite good story to listen, uh, Mr. Kiranji. Yeah. And, and uh, since you are here in Manipur, and you know in Manipur since last seven months, there's a violence is happening in Manipur, yeah. and your aim and objective objective is to help people to yeah. donate uh, blood. Uh, people who require blood can easily get blood. That means you are on the way of saving yeah. a life. But here in Manipur is quite different. Yeah. So what message? you want to give to the people of Manipur, especially in this ethnic crisis. Yeah. So I just wanted to say, if you go to any part of India, forget about Manipur. If you go to any part of India, take any Indian and take out their blood and match that blood with your blood. Isn't it same? The point is, there are millions of ways to divide each other. But there are very few ways which are enough to unite us all and blood is one of those areas i just wanted to request you all that yes our blood is same our roots are same of course our beliefs might be different but that doesn't mean to kill each other to hate each other i just wanted to say all of you all of your indian people i i'm not asking just manipuri people but every people all across india and beyond india as well just save life, give blood wherever possible because you can donate blood only four times in a year but rest 361 days you are human and humanity should be your biggest religion. If you are just be kind to others and you are doing good when somebody needs you, that's the biggest thing you are doing. That's the biggest service to the mankind, to the religion, to any god. No God tells you to kill their kids. No religion tells you to divide each other. We all are united. We are Indian first. We are human first. And that is what I wanted to request you all. Wherever you are watching me, especially in Manipur, I request you all not to create differences among each other. Just love each other and peace. And well, Mr. Kiranji, uh, uh, before Manipur, you were in Nagaland. Nagaland, mm -hmm. you came on the way through Kohima, then Mao, Mao then Senabati. Yeah. And you must be having some experience of meeting Naga and Kuki yeah. in, yeah. in, in Imphal also my day. Yeah. So what are your experience? I mean, you must you must have talked with about... I mean, it was amazing. I mean, I never got to... Because if you cross that Ma, uh, Mao area, mm -hmm. There are Mao, Naga, Mao community. Mm. And if you go slightly ahead to Senapati, there are Koki people. Mm. Right. But uh, from Senapati, I came back to Dimapur. And from Dimapur, I came to uh, Imphal by air. Mm. But I've seen almost all the tribes of, uh, major tribes of Manipur and Nagaland. Mm. And I've seen one beautiful thing. Mm. That people as an individual, they were beautiful. Only thing that, yes, there are certain things where we do have differences with each other. But that's okay. That happens. Even in a single family, you will see people not having same ideology. So that's okay. But people are so beautiful. And uh, any award uh, you won as a national award or international award? I actually don't go for awards. But yes, uh, I got LinkedIn Power Profile in 2018. Mm. Um, yeah, there, there are many awards. I mean, I don't even... You have been invited in so yes. many talks in IIT. So talk many talks, yeah. Uh, TEDx, uh, I have been invited to many TEDx. Mm. 
I have gone to uh, different countries as well. I have been invited to different countries where um, I was invited to learn different practices uh, around blood donation during this walk only. Mm-hmm. Um, many Southeast Asian countries mm-hmm. have been. So, yeah, there are many awards. <laughs> I don't want it to name any, mm-hmm. but yeah, many awards. You got the award. Yeah. And uh, you have been walking from last, I think, more than two years. Two years, yeah. I mean, it's just a long period. So, I mean, during this uh, course of time, how do you manage financially? And yeah. also, how your body cope up with such a heavy yeah. tax? So, here I wanted to reveal the very first time mm-hmm. that my body is not dealing good. Mm-hmm with uh, this walk. Reason because mm. I've got very severe uh, problem in my um, liver and kidney. Liver? Yeah, and uh, also lungs. Mm. Because <clears throat> when you uh, walk to different places, you get to eat so many kind of food. Mm. And sometimes it's hygienic, sometimes mm. it's not healthy or mm. so, you know, that sort of. Mm. So I've got fatty liver, I've got stones in my kidney. Mm. My lungs are damaged because I've got two times COVID. Mm. So my lungs are not uh, helping. Yeah. Uh, many times I have been, um, I had dealt with uh, people trying to rob me, people who are trying to hurt me, or mm. you know. Decided, uh, decided. Yeah, it happens, but it's only a fraction of time. Yeah. Um, but in, your bone are still very fine. No, no, no. My your ankle is damaged. This damaged. ankle. Uh is damaged it pains a lot when it's raining yeah. or it's very it's cold so it's paining right now yeah. but it's a part and pass of i i chose this path yeah. so i don't have any regret for that yeah. because um, because you have just completed 17000 something kilometer 17800 and, and, and another i mean uh, long distance to yeah, cover 21000 yeah. before you reach 21000 yeah. and your body is not helping you so are no, you i'm still going to i'm going to cross 21000 as well yeah. the reason i i took it uh, 21,000 kilometers mm. because when uh, I start, I planned this walk, I just took distance from one capital city to another capital city. Mm. It was not like, you know. Continuously, you are not traveling con- continuously. Yeah, so, no, no, no. In between you relax, you. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. So when I was planning, mm. it was from one capital city to another capital city. Mm. The total distance was 20,000 few kilometers mm. and I made it 21,000 kilometers. Mm. But when I started walking, then I thought that, you know, the problem lies outside those major cities or capitals. Mm. So we need to go to different areas like Mon in Nagaland or Vokha in Nagaland. Uh, Arunachal, if you talk about, um, you know, Roing or um, so many other, Tezu. So I, I went to so many places, which is very remote. I made sure to, to, you know, that my voice should reach out to more and more places. Even if I die during this walk, if my message is reaching out to the right set of people, that is solving few thousand lives, that's perfectly fine with me. Yeah, that's and then now you, you speak about uh, the, the, the financial. And is yeah. There any financial, yeah, I don't take money in public. Mm-hmm. Reason because um, uh, when you talk about money, when you talk about uh, taking support from people, mm-hmm. people do get distracted from the cause. Mm-hmm. So I don't want people should think out anything on, on because that should not matter to anyone. I take money only from very close friends or families or you know there are there is a very close network of people mm. who knows my financials. Mm. Mr. Kiranji, uh, I want to I mean our viewers want to know about your your initiative of Simply Blood where you founded uh, some some times back. Yeah. So you talk about it. So, Simply Blood is world's first virtual blood donation platform mm. and currently third largest community of blood donation mm. all across the world. Mm. Uh, the first one is Hyderabad's uh, uh, friend support, second is American Red Cross and third is ours, Simply Blood. But if you compare with Indian context, these three platforms are very small. I'll tell you why. In India, we need 15 million units of blood annually. All blood related needs are less than 15 million. But what we get, it's only 10 to 11 million unit of blood, which is almost two third of the total need. Mm. And if you see simply blood, that is not even 1% of the total need we need. So our user base is almost two 
two and a half lakhs. Whereas we need 1.5 crore. Mm. So almost one point few, few percent of total need. These many Difference blood donors are there on our platform. And if you really wanted to solve the problem, we need to come collectively as different platforms coming forward. So far, we have saved, saved almost 70,000 potential lives all across India through blood donation using Simply Blood. But that is also a very small number. We wanted to make sure that going down the line, we should come forward and make sure that this whole uh, problem should get better platform, whether it's Simply Blood or any other platform, that's perfectly fine. But uh, this problem should be solved and there should be a great community mm. which can help and come together to solve this problem. Cancer is getting very big problem in Manipur. Mm. And that's the reason blood requirement is growing day by day. Every day Manipur. So I think this is going to be a challenge for Manipur mm. to deal with all these factors. Mm. And that is only possible when government civics bodies and people like you who are creating mass awareness among people, they come forward together and do something mm. in Manipur. And what is your peace message to Manipur? I just wanted to say that, you know, please, I request you all, if you really wanted to shed blood, shed it to save life, not to take life of anyone. And be kind to others and help anyone in need. There are so many people who are so kind from all the communities, all across Manipur. And we just need to see the bright side of it. There are always few fraction of people who are wrong. And I think because of them, we should not judge each other. If you see, there are lakhs of people all across Manipur, but there are only few who got involved into violence. So because of those few people, we should not judge every person across the state or across the tribe and I request you all just be kind and you know spread peace through blood and share love by your action. So Kiran Brahma, Apta Manipur, what is your next destination? Which state are you going? So I'm going from here, I'm going to Sisipur, mm. Impal to Sisipur, mm. which is Kuki area, right? Mm. And from Sisipur, I'm going to uh, Aizol, uh, Manip Mizoram. Mizoram. Mm. And Mizoram to mm. Tripura, Tripura to uh, Assam and Assam to back to Sikkim and other part of India. Mm. Mr. Kirinji, thank you so much for coming thank to our so studio. Much, and I wish you all the best for your uh, aim and objective to be completed by 2025. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, you so much. Uh, you so much. Uh, Matung Tarakurazu Matangazu, Anova, Gas and Puraga, Mayam Gidamakta, Laksa, Nasigo, Nadi, Mayam Punamapu, Kangan the Mogi Atanijari.